How to calculate your ideal body weight. Wonder if your weight is right for your height? Learn what a healthy body weight for your height should be in just a few steps. You will need an ideal weight chart, a computer with internet access, your current height, your current weight, a tape measure, and a doctor. Step one, find an ideal weight chart online. Use the term weight chart in a search engine and look for one that uses the most specific information. Look for a chart that shows exact heights, weights, and uses a specific age range. Step two, find the appropriate weight range for your height and gender in the ideal weight chart. Compare to your current height and weight to see if you fall within the healthy range. Set a small starting goal to keep you motivated if you are working to lose weight. Even a loss of only 5 or 10% of your current weight can reduce your risk for heart disease or other weight-related illnesses. Step 3. Find a BMI or body mass index calculator online for an even more accurate measurement of how much fat you carry and how that affects your weight. Step 4. Input your current height and weight into the BMI calculator. Select the appropriate gender and get your BMI calculation. Know that the BMI calculation may overestimate body fat in very muscular athletes or underestimate body fat in older people or others who have lost a lot of muscle. Step 5. Know that a healthy BMI calculation falls between 18.5 and 24.9. Measurements between 25 and 29.9 are considered overweight, while 30 and above are classified as obese. Step 6. Use a tape measure to measure your waist circumference. Stand and place the tape measure just above your hip bones. Breathe out and note the measurement in inches. Aim for a measurement under 35 inches for women and 40 inches for men. Step 7. Eat healthy foods and exercise daily to stay at a healthy weight. Keep an eye on your health and discuss any issues you are having with your doctor to make sure you're on the right track. Did you know? Compared to statistics from the 1970s, in 2010, more than twice as many children between the ages of 2 and 5 and three times as many kids between 6 and 11 are now classified as obese. How to avoid germs. Wage war against germs lurking at home, school, the workplace, and traveling by plane or train by arming yourself with common sense practices and health-promoting habits. Whether while you're eating or getting your hands dirty in the garden, applying these tips keeps you healthier and happier. You will need soap, water, hand sanitizer, and tissues. Optional, antimicrobial wipes. Step one. Wash your hands frequently. It's vital to follow this rule to avoid infecting yourself with germs picked up through contact with people and germ-laden surfaces. Scrub hands for at least 15 seconds with soap and water to wash away germs. Step two, use hand sanitizers to avoid germs when soap and water are unavailable. Carry hand sanitizers in your purse or pocket and use them generously, or try antimicrobial wipes or moist towelettes if they are more convenient. Step three, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with your hands to prevent infection from germs. Step four, monitor public pool and hot tub cleanliness by asking staff how frequently pools and tubs are cleaned and how often the chemical balance is measured. Step five, wipe down exercise equipment at the gym before and after a workout. Step six, sit near the front of an airplane when flying where ventilation is optimized to evade airborne germs eager to travel home with passengers. Step seven, make it a habit to cough or sneeze into your hands or a tissue, then wash your hands afterward. Always wash your hands after using the bathroom. You may not save the planet from the next pandemic, but you will create a healthier environment for you and those around you. Did you know? Apollo 11 astronauts were quarantined when they arrived back on Earth to prevent the possible spread of moon germs. How to get healthy. Everyone wants to live a long life. It takes more than just eating healthy foods. There are a lot of things you can do to boost your overall health. You will need sleep, exercise, time to relax, a toothbrush, family, and friends. Optional, time to nap, and the ability to say no. Step one, get plenty of sleep. Your body needs seven to eight and a half hours a night. Many metabolic processes occur when you're sleeping. There's nothing wrong with taking a nap if you need one. Step two, 
Exercise when you can. Exercise is important for both your mental and physical health. Step three, don't stress out. Set aside a few minutes of quiet time each day, shutting out all distractions to calm down and gain focus. Learn to say no. You don't have time for absolutely everything. Some things just have to wait. Step four, brush your teeth and gums. Your dental health has more to do with your overall health than you might think. Step five, be social. Health is more than just your physical well-being. You need to have emotional needs met, and that means maintaining family and friend relationships. Surround yourself with people who care about you for your whole happy, healthy life. Did you know World Health Day was started in 1948 by the first World Health Assembly? How to get a quick energy boost. If you find yourself feeling worn out, break free of those doldrums and give yourself back your pep. You will need quick exercises, a 10 minute walk, motivational music, healthy snacks, and happy friends. Optional, a specially designed desk lamp. Step one, get moving with some quick exercises like jumping jacks or push-ups wherever you are. Bursts of activity will increase your heart rate and blood flow to your brain for a quick pick-me-up. Step two, take time to head for a quick 10-minute walk in the sunshine. The sights and sounds of nature can elevate your mood and the vitamin D from sunlight can give you a boost of energy. Consider purchasing specially designed desk lamps that simulate sunlight and boost mood and energy even during the grayest winter days. Step three, flip on some motivational music to get your heart rate up, your mind focused, and your enthusiasm for the day chugging. Step four, chow down on a healthy snack like nuts, which contain protein to dilate blood vessels and help with blood flow. Protein also boosts mental alertness and energy and keeps you from crashing later. Step five, Help a friend in need for that rush of good feeling chemicals called endorphins. You can feel the same high by laughing at a funny video, cartoon, or joke as well. Step six, surround yourself with naturally happy people and hand out a few compliments to feel instantly energized the rest of the day. Did you know? The Red Bull Energy Drink was founded in 1984 and the drink was an instant success when it hit Austrian markets in 1987. How to keep body systems in optimal shape. Keep your body systems in optimal shape so you can live a long and healthy life. You will need exercise, a healthy diet, a healthy weight, stimulation, sunglasses, hormone therapy, vitamin D, an exfoliating peel, soothing gel, vitamin C serum, moisturizer with sunscreen, and rest. Optional, a doctor. Don't change your diet without first consulting your physician. Step one. Do all you can to prevent cancer by living a healthy lifestyle that includes regular exercise, a healthy diet, and by maintaining a healthy weight. Aim for 30 to 60 minutes of exercise per day and maintain a diet filled with fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Step two, stimulate your mind by learning a new language, reading a book, taking a class, or starting a new hobby that you enjoy. Step three, Protect your eyes with sunglasses that have 100% UVA or UVB protection. Sunglasses can protect you from macular degeneration, cataracts, and wrinkles around your eyes. Step four, avoid getting sick and prevent the spread of germs by washing your hands after you use a restroom, handle garbage, blow your nose, and before and after you prepare food. Step five, consider hormone therapy if you are going through menopause to reduce symptoms such as mood swings and night sweats. Remain sexually active with your partner to keep yourself emotionally connected and to boost your immune system. Step six, get plenty of vitamin D through sun exposure or supplements. Studies show that prostate cancer, colon cancer, and breast cancer may be linked to vitamin D deficiencies. Ask your doctor if you need a supplement. Step seven, keep your skin looking young and healthy by using an exfoliating peel followed by a soothing gel. Use a vitamin C serum and a moisturizer with sunscreen to protect your skin. Stay healthy by keeping your body rested by getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Did you know? The average age an American woman goes through menopause is 51. How to lower your BMI. The Body Mass Index, or BMI, is a tool used to assess your weight status based on your height. Use these tips to lower your BMI. You will need fewer calories, portion control, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, variety, a computer with internet access, limited sugar and alcohol consumption, exercise, realistic goals, and a doctor. Optional, pacing. Step one, 
Decrease your calorie intake by decreasing the amount of high fat foods you eat and eating small amounts of unsaturated fats, which are good for your heart and help you absorb fat soluble vitamins. In order to create a calorie deficit, you have to eat fewer calories than your body uses. Step two. Exercise portion control. Too many calories from any source will be stored as body fat, so adjust your portion sizes so that you get an appropriate number of calories. Step three, eat at least five servings a day of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. These foods are loaded with healthy vitamins and packed with fiber to keep you feeling full. Pace yourself and eat slowly. It takes 10 to 20 minutes for your brain to get the message from your stomach that you've had enough to eat. Step four, eat a variety of foods daily. Consult the Food Guide Pyramid at mypyramid.gov to find and choose different foods within the various food groups multiple times each day. Step 5. Limit your consumption of food with added sugar, such as soda, candy, and alcoholic beverages. They provide no necessary nutrients and are just empty calories. Alcohol slows down the body's use of fat for fuel by as much as one-third, which means your fat is more likely to be stored in your body. Step 6. Make exercise a priority. Get at least 30 minutes of light exercise every day. You'll have more energy and you'll be burning calories. Step seven, develop a positive attitude by setting realistic goals and focusing on fitness instead of weight. Pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues and only eat when you're hungry, not when you're bored or stressed. If your weight is a major concern, consult a doctor. Did you know, to lose one pound of fat, you need to create a deficit of 3,500 calories.